So on the latest episode last week, you showed you and Deb got into it. Uh, why your questions may have been very legitimate, do you feel like could have went about a little different? No, I think that editing is, is what it is. You know, my thing is, um, I love Ms. Deb. There's no personals, you know, but at some point, you know, it, our first meeting that we had, it was a lot more emotional. It was a lot more, um, uh, more of me just kind of like trying to, you know, understand what was all happening. Like my husband just said he didn't want to manage my career no more. What do I do from here? Is Ms. Deb going to be the one to step up to the plate? And so this meeting, I was like, you know what? I have a lot on my table that are great things for any manager to walk into. And I'm a hard worker and I want to know if somebody's going to do that, they're going to take it serious. And I just wanted to be serious about my business. I didn't want to go in there. I was going to play meek. I wasn't going to play the humble lamb to get eaten up by a shark or, or a wolf. And I wanted to be clear because everybody has their own, you know, perspectives on what a manager has done to them or what they've taken from them. We've all heard the stories. So I wanted her to tell me out of her mouth if she was going to have my back and she was going to rock with me. And if she believed in me like that, what could you do for my career from this point on? How can you take it to the next level for me? And I, I, I was hoping that she would have thought about some of the things or went and listened to my music. You know, we're all doing research. I know what Miss Deb does and I know what she's good at. And I mean, it's no love lost. No, I don't think, you know, it went how it was supposed to go because we're both straight up. You know what I'm saying? We straight to the point and we don't BS around, but it's no love lost. And I, that doesn't mean we won't do anything together in the future. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's just how the business goes. But we're just not good fit artist manager. That's it. No love lost. Have you ran into Tammy since your verbal altercation? No, I have not. And you know what? Um, I'm to the point where, you know, Everybody make mistakes, right? I just don't think that shit was all the way a hundred for her to come and run up on me, like, you know, in my place of business and to ask me questions about my personal, professional business, my life. I didn't feel like I disrespected Ms. Deb. I could have said all kind of ill, crazy shit and wild out. I didn't do that. That's not my, that's not even my character. And I'm not going to start today. But come to me with sideways and be saying all kind of crazy shit, I'll beat your ass. So that's how I felt. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to do it. And I mean, you know what, Tammy, you know, I mean, we both, I guess we, it, it, I wasn't in the wrong because I was just standing in my place of business. But it's not what you say, it's how you say. Had she came to me and said, you okay, you know what I'm saying? I know, you know, I know I really don't know you. You know, we talked a couple of times on the phone or whatever. And I know, you know, you've done some things in the business. And so has Miss Deb. So it's two strong women because she, she, somebody has to be level-headed and has to be like you know understanding of the situation and be able to say you know i just wanted to let i just want to take information back to miss deb that it wasn't disrespectful and everything you know anything like that you know what i mean because i don't see you to be that type of person you've done too much with too many people whatever and i probably would have been more amped to have a conversation that was going to lead but when somebody say what tour were you on like who didn't see it? You know what I'm saying? Like the American musical. Well, who didn't? Who wasn't there? Like I mean, and and it's just like to take away from my brother Diddy. It's almost like, well, you wasn't doing. Who cares? You didn't do it by yourself. And it's like, yo, I made history. Like with that dude. And you only better. You only good as what you did last time. You know what I'm saying? So from there, you say I want to do something even bigger and better. And those are my dreams. My dreams and aspirations. It's not garbage. It's not trash. So I don't expect you to come in my face and ask me about how I'm handling my business when your name wasn't even brought up. Just saying. The fuck? And what's your current management situation now? Um, me and Tony are together. We th the crazy thing is, you know, it's like in a relationship when you tell a motherfucker, like, I don't fuck with you right now today. I don't want to be with you no more or whatever. That happens. And, you know, I think that he was being a man. The, 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 the true issue was him coming in the house at 10 a.m., and him just not calling. Communication again is what we're talking about. And it ended up like a man does. He reverted the, the whole conversation to something that had nothing to do with 10 a.m. And he was like, fuck this. I don't want to be married. I mean, I don't, basically, I don't want to be your manager no more. And he just like walked out and I'm like, are you fucking serious? You still didn't ask, you didn't tell me where you was at 10 a.m. You know what I mean? So. You know, we're cool. We're back on our business, and you know, he's closing some really big deals right now. He's back on my publishing situation. I'm working. I'm working with new artists. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, we definitely made the Tinashe Project, you know, on a Prince Royce album, working do with Dallas Austin right now, and some really cool things. So, you know, he got me back working, and that's all that matters. Rosewater, we did start working on the EP, because y'all heard me crying and fucking being mad about my music. I'm an artist, and I'm sensitive about my shit. And I was just like, all I want to do is put a track list together. So he decided we should put an EP out, and I'm going to call it Rosewater, because it's just a reflection of the flower I think I am at this moment, you know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't really think I'm a rose right now, but I'm watering this seed and, you know, it's all the emotions and up and downs of a relationship, but it's coming out August 10th, so make sure you all go and cop that. Yeah, my cousins, um, they were avid watchers in porn and had saw me on um, MILF Hunters. Okay. They saw me on MILF, Milf Hunters and they went out and actually bought a movie and took it to my grandmother. You're the only person, one of the few people that looks like you. In my case, one of the only ones that was light skinned. Our family was light. Therefore, when we go to our village and when I actually buried my father, I had to bury him. I had to bring a, a lot of AK-47s. 